how can bothersome and persistent tinnitus be reduced and eventually eliminated with a proper treatment? Many people with category 4 tinnitus may find it challenging to envision life without the persistent noise and other associated symptoms. But in truth, this is what a proper tinnitus treatment is designed for. As you can see on the screen, a severe level of tinnitus, as indicated by the Tinnitus Handicapped Inventory Scale Score, can cause so many problems that normal life slips away, being replaced by the constant nightmare of fear and annoyance. And that's not even considering the anxiety or panic attacks, sometimes caused by sudden changes in the tinnitus noise, such as pitch or loudness. Why do many tinnitus sufferers and the helpers remain unaware of the concept and benefits of tinnitus retraining therapy? Definitely there should be more clarity when discussing tinnitus retraining therapy, TRT, and cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. Unfortunately, there are many hearing clinics out there claiming to use TRT therapy. Yet there is a fundamental difference between what masking or so-called TRT is known for and what should be expected from professional TRT and CBT programs that follow the best and research-proven protocols. It's important to recognize true TRT and CBT therapy's main goals, like the fact that they both aim to eliminate tinnitus during both day and night. They both do not just simply mask tinnitus with hearing aid noise or to offer only temporary relief during busy times. They both aim to provide genuine relief by reducing tinnitus awareness and annoyance. And they both aim to retrain the brain to stop paying attention to any remaining tinnitus in our minds. Please subscribe and stay tuned for our upcoming videos. And don't miss this one, as it should change your understanding of tinnitus treatments. There are three major elements used in this type of tinnitus treatments. The first is designed to provide tinnitus sufferers with the quickest and most significant reduction of symptoms. What often complicates this part of treatment is the presence of decreased sound tolerance or the coexistence of conditions such as hyperacusis, misophonia, or phonophobia. In addition, more difficulties are caused by disturbances within the auditory system, which, for example, may cause hearing loss. So, what do we do? First of all, we need to protect tinnitus sufferers from excessive exposure to sounds. This is why we are using a combination device. It has a unique ability to control the loudness of sounds our patient is exposed to using phase noise cancellation and other features. This way we can ensure that exposure to sounds will not worsen tinnitus symptoms. And when we work with hyperacusis, we initiate hyperacusis treatment based on using specialized equipment and proven to be effective when it's personalized for our patient protocols. Now, having our patients stabilized, we have to address the high levels of the patient's anxiety and fear, connected or not connected to the tinnitus and other existing conditions. This is a highly personalized part of the treatment, and all professionals, such as registered psychologists and therapists, are using the most effective and efficient approach in choosing specific therapies and ways to make a significant difference in a way our patient feels and is affected by anxiety and stress connected or not connected to the tinnitus presence. After reducing or eliminating anxiety, fear, and stress, and helping the patient feel more comfortable with fewer problems caused by decreased sound tolerance, we now can begin the tinnitus habituation phase. This phase is designed to reduce the patient's awareness and sensitivity to tinnitus, which by itself may not be causing any emotional responses or annoyance at any level. It's worth noting that habituation is not the final step in addressing bothersome and persistent tinnitus at a severe or catastrophic level. But that's a topic for another video. Please do subscribe to our channel to stay informed about our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.